You are... When you start in this journey, you are a blank page. And the world writes a story on you. And the words sink into your body and mind and spirit. And part of you understands that this story is the truth. But it is it your truth or is it someone else's truth? That is what you must decide as you move through the energies of this level of consciousness, you will find truth and shadow combine to make something very different than what the truth should be. So now, as you are coming to this place through many, many of these different contortions of thought and experience, of these understandings and teachings, of these learnings from society, parents, peers, and many others, you must decipher the real truth that must fill the spaces of your being. The spaces of your being are important, for this is your temple, as you have been told before, and the temple holds the greatest of information. The temple is where the spirit resides. The temple is where you go to worship, and to understand the things of spirit. So therefore, cleanse the temple and fill it only with those things that you know to be absolutely true and have been steadfast in your existence. The truth about who you are may be slightly different than the truths of other people because their journeys are not the same. But there is only one truth for you and one sincerity for you, one purity for you, and that is where you must reside. The temple will be filled with this purity with this understanding and push out those things that do not resonate as completely pure. Your heart fights with the third dimension and the dimensions of the negative and the dimensions of those that are living around you, for they are enforcing their own energies, whether they be good or bad or indifferent or pure or impure, they are there to be part of your deciding of what is you. You can look into them and see different things that may or may not resonate with you. And you may not understand why they feel the way they do at this particular time, or you may. But take this information. It is not who you are, but you must understand your purity must filter out exactly who they are and be true to yourself about your understandings of them because God has created you as well as them and he is the one that puts the filter within you that you must use. Sometimes this filter can be too strong and only slight bits of understanding can get through when you are using a filter that is too strong. Remember, 
to use a filter with love as its basis, with love at its purest point, so that you may filter the world through that. You may not be understanding what I'm saying right now. No, it's good. No, some, it's... But I can tell you that your filter is very pure in some ways. When it comes to your family, you want to bring out the truth in the greatest possible way. But you have problems because their filters are not pure. But you try to purify yours. But sometimes that makes you angry. <laughs> and rightfully so, because you want them to be pure filters as well. But do not let it anger you. Let your full compassion fall on them. Your true unconditional love teach you who they are through the eyes of of their own words, through the soul of their own understanding, they can be understood easily. The motion of love in its purest form does not anger it does not represent anything but God. It sees only the God portion of the being and accepts it entirely. But yet, there is part of the experience that must be taught to those that are you are looking upon. Be of love in this teaching. You are a great teacher in many ways. Your wisdom is full of understanding. But do not limit yourself or do not limit others. Let the freedom of love express itself because that's the truest form of integrity there is. Even if it seems unlikely that people will understand it. It is the greatest form of expression is purity. Visa Zumbarata Karya Fakuriatan Dizibi. Your sexuality also is coming into your thoughts a lot these days. You are wondering what is right and what is wrong. Do not look at it that way. Look at it as what is able to be expressed and what is not able to be expressed. What is able to be accepted? What is not able to be accepted? What is giving pain to others? And what is bringing joy to yourself? What is these things that you are wanting to express? Is it right or wrong? That is not the question, though. Is it love or is it something else? Is it purity or is it something else? It is true. Is it truly you? Or is it something else? These are the questions, not the right and the wrong. But what is it that you can give that someone may be able to accept and bring you closer into a greater understanding of humanity and a greater understanding of who you are as an individual? Learn from all things. Prepare your thoughts for all things. Do not dissuade any thought process until you know it is not for you. Do not bring on a thought process of judgment 
unless you know that the bringer of the words is not pure. This is the word from Baba. This is the understanding of purity and of filtering your heart through the love of God. All things are in the temple, but do all things belong there? Your heart is full of greatness, and your mind sees and comprehends beyond that which the normal person may sees for comprehension. But be wise, for wisdom overshadows intellect, and sometimes seems foolish. But it is the deciphering of humanity in a way they can understand beyond intellect. Be of good health and be of great understanding one to another for wisdom sometimes comes through the words of a child and not from the highest realms. I love thee with all my being and reson I resonate with your joy when you find it because that comes from your inner purity your wisdom is growing and blossoming do not stop it but feed it remember that your innocence what is left from your childhood is the strongest part of who you are. Why? Because innocence is pure and purity is power. Are you with me? Yes, absolutely. I love you. I love you. And I bring you this because it is time for the world to awaken to a greater understanding of God, purity, wisdom, enlightenment. There are too few that hold the power of love. The power of love can move the greatest of hearts, the darkest of mountains, the most negative things can be destroyed with love and reshaped into positivity. They are never destroyed for long until they're reborn in some other way. And I do not like the word destroy, but in this case, it is the truth. There are some things that need to be moved out and changed. And change for these things would be destruction and rebirth. I am full of joy that the heavens are with you right now. You have much angelic support. <laughs>
Take care.